Okay, we have gone and rescued the queen, but we were captured. We broke out. Got a little bit of help from our friends, but it wasn't really necessary. And we have returned back to Earl Eamon's estate. That way we can go and talk to him and the queen and try to figure out our next move. Make us breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. It's good to see you're all right, Anora. I was uncertain you would respond as you did, considering the consequences. I am glad you did. Thank you. Now, however, we must work together. And quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first. But he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat. Yet even now, I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him. But if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Enora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And why should we trust you? Or, ah, oh, damn it, hold on. And we should trust you, why? You don't need to trust me. We have the same goal. That is far better than trust. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she battered her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Loghain's the only trouble I care about. Loghain is the problem at hand, yes. We need to do all we can to erode his support before we call the Landsmeet. What do you think he's doing in the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Why do you think Anora is trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Anora means to give up her power easily. Still. I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. But aren't we planning to depose her? Anora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. 
But Alistair's mother was a scully maiden. How is he better? Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Anora would secure the succession. Maybe Alistair should try to marry Anora. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Why is it so important to put Merrick's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Callanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Callanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turnians. Alistair doesn't know the first thing about being king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion. And I can help you in that regard. And how to trust to the Maker's guidance to what? know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid. Should that training fail him, he will be fine. Am I the only one that heard that shit? <laughs> Let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. I've got work to do. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. Thanks. Thanks, bro. I was already planning on doing that, but, you know. Who are you? Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. <sighs> Could you tell me about that vault again? It's located just off the Market District in the Northern Alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. I was hoping I could learn a bit more about Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. How many Wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thetis. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Have you ever been to the fortress in West some shit? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad. And very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight Darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. 
How were the Wardens founded? It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order and were recognized by Thedas. Why has it been so long since the last flight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them, and it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. I guess that's all for now. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. All right, the... Grey Wardens are a, a pretty damn ancient order of people. And essentially, although it hasn't really been revealed why yet, a Grey Warden is actually responsible, or necessary rather, to destroy an Archdemon. Now, Grey Wardens spend most of their time fighting Darkspawn, true. And they are really probably the best people suited for dealing with Darkspawn, because they can sense their existence. But, uh... Fighting an Archdemon is different, and, well, I mean, we'll get to that. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. I don't think I'm as important as you believe. No? You're a Grey Warden. And despite the fact that my father will paint himself as the only one who can protect the country from the Blight, it is not so. Secondly, you saved Arl Eamon from a plot that no doubt had its origins in Hal's sick little mind. People will not forget that. You are competent and powerful, and in the right place at the right time. Used to your advantage, these things could bring you far. You think you're a better candidate than Alistair? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. It's true he probably isn't the best suited. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities, if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Just how do you know so much about him? Kaelin knew of Alistair. It was Arl Eamon that kept Alistair out of the courts, as Merrick had desired. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his Therian blood. The others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually, the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. What's your alternative? I have ruled this nation on Kaelin's behalf for many years. I am a great queen, and as beloved by my people as I love them. Ferelden needs an effective ruler with experience to see it through the blight and after. That is not Alistair. Thus I say again, I would welcome your support for the throne if you would give it. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, 
yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Why not simply mal and marry Alistair? It's the best of both worlds. He is my father. Damn it. As well as a great general who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Make your case. Why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Kaelin's queen. As much as they loved Kaelin, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Kaelin was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. What say you then? Your support for mine in the lands meet? <sighs> Same thing I said before. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kaelin, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kaelin as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? True. Forget I said anything then. Consider it forgotten. Now, as for the alliance we were discussing. I think I'll need more than just your support. Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. This is in addition to High Ever being properly restored to you. That should go without saying, I trust. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think of what I could do for your companions. I trust I have made my point. What if you had a strong king beside you? Tempting. You are of Kuzland blood, it's true. Despite the fact that you are also a Grey Warden, it would be unprecedented, but a man like you could make a fine prince and consort. Is this what you are actually proposing? My hand for your support? Very well. Marry me and you have my support. Hmm. Very well. It is too good an opportunity to pass up. Once I am coronated, I will take your hand as my consort. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Do you need any of them? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still... Thank you. Well, that ended abruptly. <laughs> but anyway, we've set up the next section of the game, so end of episode. <laughs>